What's good guys, it's your boy Shimon here back with another video and in today's video guys I'll be going through four tweaks that has been giving you guys a headache and when I mean headache like everyone's been commenting Yo Shimon, please help me with these tweaks so that's exactly what I'm gonna do today so the first one we're going to look into guys is Anchor alright so all you need to do guys is go into city for this one I'm using repo that bite your apple.net I know it's a piracy repo but the thing is, I've, I've paid for um, Anchor, and for some strange reason, if you refund the payment, you can't buy it again. So I have to be using a pirate repo. So let me just show you guys that this is how I get it. So let me search for it right here. A and C, boom, here's Anchor. Repo.biteyourapple.net, hit install. I'm just showing you guys what I do because you guys have been telling me that nothing is working so I have to make this video to cover and explain these four tweaks for you guys so you don't have to be saying Siobhan this is not working what can I do so this might be a long video I'm not sure maybe it'll be 20 minutes maybe 15 but let's see so once it's finished guys you just want to go ahead and and respring let me just respring from here okay guys so we're back now let me just enter this and let me show you guys that anchor is working so if i hold down on an application let me zoom in for you guys and move it to a desired location it will stay as you can see so let me just organize these to how i like it right now real quick Okay, so we got Anchor out the way. That is how I use Anchor. Next up, let's talk about Boxy3 and how we get Boxy3. So what you want to do, guys, is go into Safari. Go into Safari right here. And then you want to, to copy and paste the link that is down below in the description, which will bring you to this website. H-T-T-P. Let me just type in. You could just even type in Boxy3 repo. As simple as that. It will bring up a reddit post you hit the link right here and then it will bring you to boxy3 simple as that now here you need to insert your email your twitter and all of that so let me just enter my email real quick it's underscore chevy at hotmail.com my twitter it's my twitter is the twitter is not mandatory so you don't have to do that only the ones with the asterisk but let me just put my Twitter there. Choose my device, iPhone 5S, UDID. So what you need for UDID, you could just like go into Safari, hit a new tab, then search for UDID sender. You just get this app, or f let's type in you could use this app or you could just type in something so as you can see i used the app before i'm just use it again because this video i'm just showing you guys everything i'm not really cutting anything out too much okay it's finished hit open just open the application remember you need the udid the application will assist you with obtaining your udid so tap to begin brings you to some weird ass page hit install right here enter your passcode if you have one hit install again install again boom profile has been installed and this is your UDID code so you just want to hit tap to copy UDID hit copy then go back to the page right here enter hit paste done so here it is guys boxy3 repo this is the steps you need to take you don't have to have a twitter it's not mandatory but the ones with the asterisk are such as your email your twitter your, your email your device and your udid so once that's done you want to hit submit see it says you have already submitted this form and are successfully registered 
So what you guys need to do now is go into Cydia. Go into Cydia. Opens. Oh no, wrong one. Just go into Cydia. Boom. Then you want to install the boxy repo now. Please let it work. Add source. Boom. So it finally works. Damn. So guys, the boxy 3 repo, I was just entering it incorrectly. And all you need to do is just register. Then hit type in the irepo.com slash boxy slash repo. So that was where I went wrong. So you just want to go to return to Cydia, search, or just going to changes. It's supposed to be there. Oh, it's not. Anyway, search boxy. So here it is boxy three beta. Install that bitch right there, bro. Confirm. I'm just running up all everything for you guys. So you don't have to worry about anything. This video is a troubleshooting video. I'm just answering all of my lovely subscribers because they've been asking questions. So I'm making this video, man. So we have already went through how to get Anchor. Now we're doing Boxy 3. So instead of respringing this shit, let's just hit close. And this one is called Dismiss Progress. So you'll be able to just close instead of respringing your device when you're not finished with Cydia. So just hit close. Make sure you guys install Stashing as well. But anyways, let me go ahead and install the Reaper for Lock HTML4 because you guys have been asking about Lock HTML4 as well. Edit, add, type in Lock HTML. Whoops, it's called repo dot lock html dot com add source works like magic so that's three tweaks gone boxy three I showed you how to install boxy three I showed you how to install anchor and now I'm showing you how to install Lock HTML4. So before you do anything crazy again, let me just close this. So once you have all of those repos installed, let me search for it real quick. Lock HTML4. Here it is. Already installed. Because yeah, I'm slick like that. So now let's talk about the big boys one. First off, make sure you have Info stats install and not info stats too. Info stats. That's what you need. So now guys, let's go to June's iPhone repo. And that's how I get all of my weather forecast repo. So what you guys need to do is go ahead, go onto this website, June's iPhone.com. So here we have a bunch of different things. June's iPhone repo is where you have all of these cool one page widgets, as you can see right there. They're sick as hell. Most of them are compatible with iOS 9. And because of InfoStats 2 not being supported on iOS 10 as yet, it's hard to get all of these repos and these cool zone like SB Plus and all of that. Hopefully SB Plus will be working soon. But anyways, guys, what you want to do is go and touch Super Secret right here. Touch that. And then it will bring you to the super secret repo. So as I said before, this repo normally costs $10, guys. And all you have to do is scroll down to the bottom, hit get access to this repo. Or you could just hit add repo, any one of them. Wait for it. Just wait for it. So once you hit get access, you want to scroll down onto the bottom until you find this coupon code. So you could either add the repo normally without the coupon code and it will be $10. But if you enter my coupon code, S-H-E-V-I, 
seven then hit submit right there it will slash it off to five bucks so then what you want to do now is hit add repo hit open in Cydia then it will add this third party source in Cydia so as you can see you have been linked to a third party blah 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 continue to source as you can see I already have it installed so it have everything right here so what you guys need to do now is go ahead and install iWidgets I widgets what bruh what bruh no I widgets anyways let me go into the June's iPhone repo pack right here so as you can see we have the apps section all of these are free you don't have to worry about anything you see we have the free I widgets app we have the color picker app we have iDevice Walls, we have Lock Plus, One Page Widget App, Screenshot App, all of that. Now, if you go into the add ons, such as the ones for Lock HTML, these are all Lock HTML add ons. Then, let's try and find some tweaks. Nope. I'm trying to find some iWidgets. Here it is. So, the one that I have is the Forecast Pack, which is right here. So now if I go home, let me try add I don't have iWidget install no. Alright, I need to install iWidgets real quick. So let me try find why I don't know why I can't find iWidgets though. Let me respring my city. Refresh my city. Real quick. You know what? Let me respring my device. That's what I need to do. I need to respring my device. Because I haven't respring in a while. Slide to respring. So yes, guys, as you can see, we spoke we spoke about Boxy three, how to add Boxy three and all of that. We spoke about Lock HTML four, how to add Lock HTML four. We spoke about Anchor, how to add Anchor, and also I displayed how to use Anchor. We're now talking about iWidget. So this video is almost finished. So let's hang in there, guys. We're almost done almost done don't worry about anything no as i said before let me just go into city i just need to finish up on i widgets so i'm just going to city right here oh my days internal temperature too high for my camera yes guys so since i've resprung my device if i search for i widget now it's supposed to be there obviously i widgets oh, where is it man w i D G E T S. Here it is. So hit install. Confirm. Let's wait for that to finish. My camera is like overheating, so ah, oh, this video is gonna be a pain to edit, man. Honestly, it's gonna be a pain to edit. I'm sure of it. If you're hearing noises in the background, guys, I cannot get rid of it. It's just the friggin' heater or whatever it's called. It's so freaking loud, man. Ah. <clears throat> um, mm, come on, man. Guys, I'm going to show you a life hack. Instead of respringing, just use Dismiss Progress. Close. And you could just respring your alarm. But I don't advise you. <coughs> I don't advise you to do this at all. So now, tap on hold. Crap. I need to respring for real. Alright, let me just go ahead and respring because I need to. Respring. Respring process has finished. Now, as you can see, all of my tweaks are back on board because our, I didn't delete them. <coughs> so here is the pixel launcher tweak. You guys say you didn't see it. Well, let me show you. Let me show you guys in Syria. Open Syria right there show you guys come on man i don't want my camera to shut off on me again this video is just taking too long fam okay go to search got the top that is called pixel launcher that's all you need to install now let me show you guys the june's iphone widget 
to show you that it has all the widgets that you definitely need. So I'll scroll down until you find i widgets pack. Here we have like tons of i widgets we can choose from. You could go to the screenshot section. That looks cool. You could install that if you want. So let's just hit install. Once you install June's iPhone repo, everything is free. That's what I like about it. Every future tweaks are free as well. Galaxy Mod. If you can see the screenshots and everything. Really like that. That looks sick. Hit install. Confirm. See? Simple as that, guys. Alright guys, once that's done, you don't need to respring, just hit return to studio. Let me show you guys, it's very easy to add these widgets, boom, here we have the amber one that we got from June's iPhone repo, hit add, that just looks sick, everything's working, the weather, everything, drag to your position, boom, go over here, Pixel launcher, where is it? Pixel launcher iPhone 5. Add boom. Oh yes, I forgot that I'm using upscale, so I need to choose the 6s resolution. Come on, Shaboom. Pixel launcher 6 6 resolution. Boom. Now if you want the dates, here's a bunch of dates from June's iPhone repo. The Galaxy Weather. We just got that one. Apparently, this looks like this. It's not working on my phone. My phone looks like it's too small, man. <laughs> my phone's too small for it, guys. It's not working at all. Try it again. Galaxy Weather. Where is it? I just saw it. Galaxy Weather. Phone settings. Da -da -da. Nope. It's just too big for my phone. It's too big for my little small phone. Let me just go for these ones. Split success. This cool one. So as I said before, bunch of tweaks with iWidget from June's iPhone repo. Now let's look at lock HTML. So you just go into the settings. I'll find this for you guys. Tweaks. Lock HTML. Where is it? Lock HTML four. All you guys need to do is just simply go into select widgets. As you can see, we have all of these widgets we just installed. Let me just try to use tile. Reorder. Bring it to the top of waffle. Hit done. Let me just disable waffle, which would be down here. Now, if we just go into our lock screen, it's supposed to be there. See, it's at the top right here. Can we drag it down? Let's see. It's not meant for the lock screen, so I'm not sure if it will work. No, it's not working because it's not meant for the lock screen. So let's use something else apart from that one. Let's just use ones that's meant for lock screen. Cataracts. Hit save. Boom. So simple. So guys, I think that's it. Yes, guys, so that's the end of the video. If anything helped you please drop a like down below i don't know if i missed anything but the editing was like really hard so let's try and hit 100 likes guys please just let me know if you have any questions about anything or whatever but guys remember always love peace and tweets sign out